Google's AI just cured cancer by accident. Okay, not cured, but it discovered a drug combination that has never existed in medical history, tested it on human cells, and it worked. And here's the crazy part. The AI wasn't even trying to find this. Here's the deal. Your immune system is basically your body's personal security team. It's supposed to find cancer cells and destroy them. But here's the plot twist. Some tumors are what scientists call cold tumors. And no, that doesn't mean they need a blanket. It means they're invisible to your immune system. Like Harry Potter with his invisibility cloak, except way less fun and way more deadly. Your body could destroy the cancer if only it could see it. It's like having a superhero who's blind. Not ideal. Now, scientists have known for years that there's this protein called interferon. Think of it as the, hey, look over here signal. It's supposed to make tumors visible to your immune system. But here's the catch. For most patients, interferon levels are like trying to light up a stadium with a birthday candle. Technically present, yes. Actually useful, not so much. So for decades, doctors have been stuck. They know interferon could work, but it's just too weak in most people. It's like knowing the Wi-Fi password, but having zero bars of signal. Enter the AI beast. Google and Yale decided to throw 27 billion parameters at this problem. They built this absolute unit of an AI called C2S Scale, basically a digital Sherlock Holmes for cells. And they gave it one job, find us a drug that makes interferon louder. But not just any drug. They needed something that would amplify interferon when it's already there, but wouldn't do much on its own. Like a megaphone that only works when someone's already talking. This is called conditional reasoning, and apparently only the big AI models can pull this off. The smaller models, they just couldn't handle the complexity. It's like asking a calculator to write poetry. So here's where it gets wild. The AI virtually tested over 4,000 drugs in two different scenarios. One, real patient tumors with weak immune signals, the actual battlefield, and two, isolated cancer cells in a lab, the practice arena. And after running this massive digital experiment, the AI pointed at one drug and said that one, Silmetasertib. Now, this drug isn't new. Doctors have been using it for other stuff, but nobody, and I mean nobody, had ever connected it to boosting immune response in cancer. The AI didn't just Google the answer. It invented a new idea. It's like if your GPS suddenly discovered a shortcut that's been there the whole time, but no human ever noticed. But obviously, a prediction means nothing if it doesn't work in real life. You can't just trust an AI and call it a day. This isn't choosing a Netflix show. So they went to the lab and tested it on actual human cancer cells. The results? When they combined silmetarsip with low-dose interferon, there was a 50% increase in tumor visibility. Exactly as predicted. The tumors went from invisible ninjas to wearing neon signs. The immune system could finally see them. And get this. They tested it on cells the AI had never seen before during training. It still worked. That's like acing a test on a subject you've never studied, except, you know, for cancer. Here's why this is a huge deal. First, this could help millions of cancer patients who don't respond to immunotherapy. We're talking about turning cold tumors hot, making them visible so the body can fight back. Second, the model's open source. That means researchers worldwide can use it build on it, and potentially discover even more treatments. And third, and this is the sci-fi part, this proves that AI can make genuine discoveries that slip through human logic entirely. We're not just using AI to speed things up, we're using it to think in ways we can't. It's like having a teammate who sees in a different dimension. Literally game-changing. Now, let's be clear, this is still early days. The drug combo worked in the lab, but it needs more testing before it reaches patients. Science doesn't move at TikTok speed, unfortunately. But Yale researchers are already exploring this mechanism and testing more AI-generated predictions. The AI didn't just find a needle in a haystack, it found a needle nobody knew existed in a haystack nobody was looking at, and then proved the needle was sharp. So yeah, Google's AI just casually invented a cancer drug combination, and it actually works in human cells. The future is weird, folks, but in this case, it might just save lives.